Well, guys, I am done for the night. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I got them potatoes mounded up. All these aisles respaded out, remounded up. Everything is looking really well out here. Let's just hope it makes it through the night. I'm going to mark out these irises. Those are purple. I have yellow ones that bloom down there. I didn't know what they were. I just planted them all in the ground and that's how they went. Oh, so much. And then once we get this, we're supposed to get bad storms tonight. I hope nothing like too crazy. So it is 12 o'clock. As you can see, everything is wet. Everywhere around here got anywhere from two to six inches of rain last night. So good thing is nothing has to be water out here. Okay, let's see how much water we got today. Look, my aisles work perfect. That's kind of what I'm going for. Just to collect rainwater on the sides of these aisles. See these ditches? Every one of them is collecting rainwater. But I imagine we got a lot of rain last night. Wow, look at these broccolis. Yeah, look, I emptied this bucket. I mean, that's probably about two inches of rain, right? Good morning, guys. Hopefully you're having a good morning. Rachel's not with me. I'm doing the first two on my own. Then I'm going to go back and pick her up. And I think we have 10 or 14 more to do after that. We have a bunch to mow because we got anywhere from two to five inches of rain and yesterday we did mulch all day we couldn't do any mowing it was just too wet but it's dry and beautiful now so we're going to try to get as much as we can done today and saturday and then that leaves next week's schedule with only two mowing days i think maybe three and then we're going to do some mulch so that's how kind of easy the schedule is so I can do some more farming at the house because I really enjoy doing that. But I'll show you some befores and afters. I'm going to mow the front with Rachel's and then I'll mow the back with my walk by. And as long as the tire stays up, it was flat this morning. I had to pump it up. So we'll see how, how that goes. But I think we got a good four days, five days of no rain. So we should be able to get a lot done. Okay, so here's the first one. I'll get you some video over there when I get on that side. I'm going to go mow the backyard first with the walk behind. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Number one is done. You can't really see this. You can start seeing them that way. I didn't go diagonal. I went back. And... Here's the next one. We're pretty behind on this one. But the last one I did was a week and it wasn't behind at all and that grass was thick but this one's not treated so this one should be fairly easy to mow so let's get it done and i'll get you in there. that one's done <laughs> Number three done for the day. Look at that tree. It's dying. Hopefully we're not parked there one day when it falls. Yeah, well, a big branch already fell yesterday. Here's number four, boss. Number four. Looks a little long. Yeah. Yeah? Looks a little long. <laughs> we had a mower down, remember? Yeah, Rachel's going to mow everything. I've got to mow up there past the wall, though. So let's go ahead and get it done. The back. Okay, Rachel's mowing this one. I finished mowing everything I'm gonna do. Now I gotta go weed eat, and then Rachel will do the back over there. But not bad looking. This one was pretty long, you guys see, before we started. Not too bad for how overgrown it was. I think it took us 34 minutes to do that yard. I think the next one we have six we're doing. We'll see if we can get that done in an hour and a half. And then we have one more to hit on the way home. So actually two more to hit on the way home. And then I'm not sure what we're doing. We might go back out and mow one more. We'll see what time it is. No, I didn't record any of that, what we just did in there. <laughs> I assure you guys, we just got done mowing six lawns. 
that's our development. And then this is the seventh one, actually eighth, ninth one with Rachel. And then we're gonna go do one more after this. And then that'll make 12 for the day because I did two earlier, but not bad. And I got my GoPro back. Okay guys, here's the final one for the day. This makes number 12. I'm gonna mow it. Rachel's gonna move this pile of mulch. <laughs> no, I'm not. No? <laughs> no, we're not I'll moving. I'll go get the stick. Though. You'll go get the stick? <laughs> That's the extent of it, you said? Yeah, we don't need to pull this. They're doing that. That's a loud gate you got there, guys. Whew. Number 12, done. Not too shabby. Not too bad of a day. Now I'm gonna go home, get cleaned up, and go outside and farm the garden until dark. It's gonna be such a nice night. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed that move movie. Not really a movie video. I'll have to take you guys out and see the garden tonight. See how everything's looking after four inches of rain, two inches of rain, I don't even know. It was a lot of rain. Okay, so all day I've been working on this. Right now I have grass laying in all these aisles. It's everything I bagged up. And what I'm doing is letting it dry out. And then I'm going to cover up all these weeds. Pull these weeds and cover them up. But I need to get corn planted. So I am going to resort to tilling this stuff. Oh, let me get this shovel. Hey, chickens. I'm going to resort to tilling this stuff up with this, just this cultivator tool. But it's, I have beans growing here for some reason. So let's see how easy this stuff is to till up. Maybe I should just do some, break it up a little bit. Look, I moved the chickens, so sometimes if I do this, it's a little better than fighting that combi. That thing's a lot of work, but I really want to get this corn planted. So I figured I would come out here and do that while I'm waiting for that grass to dry to put back in the aisles. Okay. This is the first time I haven't tilled so far this year. But I'm a little behind on everything.
Whew. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna get more done. My goal would be to take all this grass clippings and put it back in the aisle. And then I'm gonna run my walk behind on the front lawn and clean up all this area.